Alright, so Dino Miss. Uh, Dino Miss allow easy access into Cyber Dragon Infinity, but I didn't really want to build around that. I kind of just wanted to to use the Dino Miss for themselves. Actually, get off their own little effects, which aren't they're okay, I guess. Uh, Dino Miss Rex has a pretty neat effect where if he attacks. Wait, at the end of the damage step, this card attacked, yeah. You can tribute one of your other Dynomus monsters, and he can either attack again and do piercing damage, or shuffle a card on your opponent's side of the field or their hand into their deck, and then he gains 100 attack permanently. <laughs> Just 100 attack, that's the most random tacked-on effect I've ever seen. So Dynamus Rack pretty much has like the best effect, even though it requires them to attack and tribute one of your monsters. Uh, all of their pendulum effects, because they're all either 3 or 6, uh, the 6 ones, uh, basically if one of your Dynamus monsters would be destroyed on the field, you can destroy this card and f no wait. Oh, uh, this one's for targets. Uh, the 3 is the one. If one of your Dynamus monsters would be destroyed by battle or card effects, you can destroy this card instead while it's in the pendulum zone. And the sixth one, if uh, one of your Dynamus monsters would be targeted by an effect, you can destroy this card instead. So you have some really good protection for your Dynamus monsters as long as you have the, the scales up. Uh, which isn't really all that important, that's why I threw in a couple of other ones that allowed me to go into some different scales. Because I really wanted to use Archifina Centric, plus I just threw in a couple of other level 5s that fit in with the deck pretty nicely. Perform Animal Drumrilla, a level 2, I mean, what is it, scale 2. That way I could go into a, a Centric Archfiend if I wanted to. And it has a nice little effect where if you attack you can gain a 600 attack. Because some of these guys, they need to get off their attacks in order for their effects to go off. Like Rex or Patira or Terran. I'm pretty sure there's some way to say that correctly. Where if it destroys one's monster by battle, you can add a Dynamist card from your deck to your hand. You can be one of your spell and trap cards. And then you've got the field spell card, which just allows you to basically search out any Dynamist monster. And if your Dynamist cards are, uh, you know, your pendulum monsters are destroyed, you can add them to your hand instead of your extra deck, which is nice. Field spell card, I don't think I ever actually drew into it though. All Dynamus monsters in the field gain 300 attack and defense. When a Dynamus monster you control attacked or is attacked, your opponent can activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then you got Dynamus Rush, just allows you to special summon one of your Dynamus monsters straight from your deck. It's not affected by other card effects during the turn, and it's destroyed during the end phase, which is pretty awesome. This is a really good card. That's kind of slow though, that's why I only run one of them. I also just threw in machine assembly lines just because I felt like it. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool to have some 200 attack stuff. And I thought I could probably recover some of the Dynamus monsters from the graveyard after they've been destroyed. Or I mean detached through XYZ materials. Uh, so yeah, that's the deck. It works out okay-ish, I guess. I'm pretty sure it'd work out a lot better if I just threw in a more level 5 machine type monsters though. For just straight up Cyber Dragon Infinity action.